Hey, this is Anthony from Zilla. Watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Sand 3 glove available at Revzilla.com. New for the spring of 17, this is your Sand 3. I can't believe the Sand Pro came out in 2012 and it seemed like it was just yesteryear. This is the Sand Pro. It's going the way of the Dodo. And I will tell you here at Revzilla, we are happy about it. Four colors in the new Sand 3. It actually takes a hair of a step back in price. You're shaving $10 off, coming just over the $100 mark. But if we look at it, it is quite the beefy two season hot weather adventure glove that I am wearing on my left hand. Straight out of the Netherlands, four colors available, and they made a hair full of changes. They've updated the protection scheme. They've updated the pull. You now have a touch deck finger. Again, two season hot weather riding means that it's going to be beefy and bomb proof as Revit typically does, but it uses 3D mesh, so it's gonna flow a ton of air. The big reason I wanted to show you the original sand it's actually the Sand Pro. There was an original Sand. This is the third iteration of Sand. There are two things. The first one is the thumb got a lot better. Here on this last one, sorry, phoning in a little bit, Revit. We just didn't love the protection scheme on the thumb. On this new version, great piece of cowhide, or it's actually goat skin, and you're gonna have a nice big TPR that's molded and it's connected right there that gives you that layer of protection. The other thing I'm gonna call out is notice it's a full goat palm on the new Sand 3. The previous version, this is something that they took away. I'm okay with it. I wouldn't say it was overkill, but I think they more than made up with it, the other features they added. This is Hair Sheep WX100 Diamond, which is a pitards material. It was a beefier, bomb-proof palm in the previous version. Notice the diamond plating here that was baked in. They've gotten rid of that. They've gone to a more, I'm gonna call it homologated because we see it across the Revit line, goat skin style palm that's a little bit more traditional with a traditional pre-curve. Outside of that, I'm gonna walk you through some of the other changes, but we're totally fine that the Sand 3 eclipses the Sand Pro. Now, quick note on fitment. I'm wearing a size large. I tend to wear a size large in Revit gloves. This is going to be, in my opinion, American size. So I'm a large in Icon, a large in First Gear. I wear a Euro size in Dionese and Alpine Stars. I be XL, so keep that in mind. This is a size large, use the size chart. We talked a little bit about the pre-curve. It's a lightweight glove. The leather will break in a bit. And the other thing that's nice about the fit side of things is that this is a new stretch panel that they've added compared to the last version, and it actually moves quite nicely with you. So you have the benefit of the flexible knuckle tied in with the stretch area, and it just works really well. So remember, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. Like I said, use the size chart and click our logo. Subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, request your feedback on the new Sand 3. Now, diving into some of the nuance here, I'll walk through some of the things that stay the same and some of the things that change. Remember, 3D mesh throughout, and on top of it, you're gonna see this big knuckle. It got slight redesign, but it's going to be injection molded TPR. You can see how that works. It's getting all that CE level of protection, but again, the fact that it moves with you and they gave you that stretch panel, it's just very comfortable. You also see the way it's connected. It's not stitched on, it's bonded, so you really don't feel these TPRs. Again, I like that when you think about the comfort side of things. We look at the back of the hand. One of the things, a little bit of sizzle, not a lot of steak, is you can see this strap right here. This steals some of the DNA design-wise from the Cayenne glove, but again, it's not adding a ton of functionality here. They're just doing it to keep that family resemblance. I guess Revit, I'm okay with it from a design side of things, but again, on the other gloves, it's actually part of the fit scheme. Moving up mid-digitally, we have more TPRs, and one of the things that I like is they beefed up the leather on the tips of the fingers. The previous version had some leather on the edges of the fingers and on the tips. This version wraps them all around, and you're using these mid-digital TPRs. Again, more TPRs here, these rubberized pieces that are nicely seated in there. You're gonna see them on the pinky as well. They're stolen right off of, those, off of the Cayenne glove. Now, as we rotate around, we see more leather Leather. We get into the brown leather of the goat skin here in the palm, and we already talked about the thumb there, which is a nice touch. Remember, touch tech means it's Android, iPhone compatible, and we have fingertip and thumb. Index and thumb allowing you to pinch, zoom, and move around without taking your glove off. And if we get into the palm here, just basic. Basic reinforcement, control patch, crook of the hand, and notice the external stitching around the fingers. Now, if we look at the outseam, Revit's done a phenomenal job on their new collection of gloves. The outseam here is fully captured. So we have the two nuggets of TPR here to protect you in a low side crotch, and then what you have there is a duly stitched seam encapsulation of this singular piece going down, and then 
baking its way into the heel of the hand protection. So again, this existed on the previous version, both from a protection standpoint, from a shock absorption standpoint, and from a vibration dampening standpoint. Now, a few other changes. We have a nice raised TPR here. If you happen to put your hands down around really the center of the wrist, I think it's a mixture of style and a mixture of function. But the bigger thing is they've updated how they did the wrist on this glove. The previous version was just a little bit wonkier. It was a little bit lighter weight. They've given you more female and male Velcro knowing this is more of a dual sport or adventure oriented hot weather glove. They're just beefing up the functionality and your ability to really cinch it down and keep it together. The other thing I like that they did is this big red pull here. Without that pull, you might pull from a different spot every time and weaken the seams over time. By giving you the red pull, it's reinforced. Now you have easy on and off and you always know where you're gonna put your opposite index finger for entry and exit. So all in four colors. All in, they've taken a staple hot weather glove, taken the price down about 10 bucks, really only dropped one feature we cared about, which is the, the hair sheep diamond, and you've upgraded in a handful of other ways. Still very comfortable, still very lightweight, and it's still going to breathe tremendously. Big fan of the Sand 3, new from Revit for spring of 17. The next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com and read other rider reviews. You should not just take our word for it. As always, we'll ship free for 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at Ribzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion, the latest and greatest in the Moto Universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.